Did I see butt cheeks? Hi guys, welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Vivi and let's not die again. This console will activate the yeah, verification yeah, field. We know that. You may want to speak the thing out. is before this place tries to kill us. Looking you back may. at my recording, I noticed the waypoint telling me to go use the console up top there. So yeah, maybe we'll survive this time. <laughs> okay, get ready to run. Here it comes! Go, go! They didn't like that! Uh-huh. Come on! Yeah, I noticed. Who we know to say. At least. Come on, people. Get, get down here. Protect, grab it. Now, the console. Less terrifying. Yeah. Let's get out of terrifying. here. That's correct. Pathfinder Rider? Yes. Are you there? All our instruments just recorded a surge. What happened? Falls back up. We did it. That's a jest. Yep. It can't be. That's not a jest. The vault going through a reset would explain mm -hmm. all the reading. I can't wait to hear all about this. Come back to Palab. We've a lot yep. to discuss. I'm on my way. Pathfinder Rider. You have done something remarkable here today. Succeeded where Zorai failed. Esmos? What are you doing down here? Renewing old bonds. Talking to you was enlightening. I saw an alien working for us when we had given up. We have isolated ourselves for too long. Perhaps there is a balance we can find. We all need to find balance, I think. Hey, it's nice to see you again. Tavos, I wasn't expecting to see you, but I'm pleasantly surprised. I've learned a lot in a short time. The Rokar wants simple solutions, but nothing is ever simple or certain, is it? I wish those that were killed could have realized this. But after everything I've seen, I have to hope that they aren't lost forever. This curious memory transfer. Reincarnation. Whatever it might be, I aim to devote resources to studying it. Maybe one day we'll find the truth buried deep within our superstition. Yeah, let's hope so. Because I have a feeling the answer is going to be something other than reincarnation, perhaps? That's not the only answer, is it? In this weird galaxy. That was kind of heartwarming to see. There has been healing today, Havaral. The rifts between my people and your to thank. There is some space here at Dar Pelev and we'll need extra hands to monitor Havaral's situation. Will you extend an invitation to your people? Yeah. We'd welcome anyone who can help. Sure. I'll pass it along. Then I'll leave you. I have some numbers to analyze. Can you believe it? For the first time in years, they excite me. <laughs> well, so, that's good news, right? And... Um... Yeah. I think I've ignored my companion's quests for far too long. So, I'm gonna go through a couple of them and try and ignore some of the more... Uh... Well, some of the less important ones, because it's going to be more personal of a story, 
if I do, so we're gonna leave Havarl for now. Leaving Havarl. Bridge is yours, Pathfinder. Hello? Alright, let's hear what my people's got to say. Hey, Suvi. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. Uh huh. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? Yeah, it could go deep into the earth. I. We had no way to know. For now. With what it has to do, it could go thousands of miles below the surface of the planet. Or completely span it. Huh. An underground network. Just a thought, of course. I wouldn't even know where to start hypothesizing how it all works. The remnant builders, whoever, whatever they were, accomplished something far beyond us. Yeah. And I'm excited to find out. If we'll ever find out. Like, you know, terraforming? What do you know about the Remnant's terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. If we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. Yep. Well, or at least try. I'll talk to you later. I should get back to things. Sounds good. And Callo. Hey, Callo. Got something new to talk about? Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? No, oh, fine, fine. Don't worry about it. Ah, oh, you're worried about the tempest, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. No you one. Have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. I'll take a look later. I never get out in the field with you guys. <laughs> Maybe for the best. I've got enough people to patch up without Gil tripping over Carkins. <laughs> Not the backup I was hoping for, Lexi. Aww. You poor thing. You. Yeah. Long time no chat. <laughs> What's up? Um. So. You got some friends here, Gil? What's your social circle like? Oh, I'm good for a laugh, so I know lots of people, but I don't let too many in. My one true friend is stationed on the Nexus. She's the only piece of the Milky Way I brought with me. Huh. The more you and I get to know each other, the more you'll probably hear about her. Cool. All right, I'll talk to you later. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. I don't feel like questioning everyone about every topic all the time, whenever they pop up. It just feels forced, so... Pathfinder, hey, I was wondering, could you put your stamp on a project? It's for me and Jarl to work on. Call it diplomacy if you have to put it in a budget bucket. <laughs> Greenlight that research and it's all good. Uh... That's it? Alright. I don't even know. We'll talk later. <laughs> I don't even know what I know I'm... It. I'm... I'm, uh... I'm gonna build Liam's research project. What the hell? What is that? Um... Seriously? Well, so I'm just gonna trust him. I'm gonna build it without knowing what it is. Is that it? PB, hey. Aya is a wonder writer, and the Angara are so interesting. I agree. I hope we make it back. 
I want to delve and explore and who knows what else. Well, yeah, we're going back there. We'll be back. We need the Moshe if we're going to get into their vault. Oh, I'm definitely sticking around long enough for that. <laughs> really? Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. That's, uh, her go. Stick around for that, at least. Oh, well. Ciao. My reports from Ephra regarding Aksul are worrying. I don't understand how the Roka manages to recruit so many. All right, that was enlightening. Stay strong and clear. I should probably see if I've got emails as well. They sometimes reveal a bit about my crew. Hey, Cora. Back again? Huh? I guess not. See you later, Cora. <laughs> I'll be here. So after all the work I did, work that none of her guys were willing to do, Tadana tells me I wasn't the right fit. Hey, idiots. Didn't know what they were missing. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I joined a rival crew, and we ran those blue snobs out of business. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, Vetra. I always have time for you. Ah. Uh, Thank you so much, but <laughs> we've got nothing to, to chat about. We can chat later. Yeah. You know where to find me. Uh-huh. Yeah, I do. And so that's going to be the same with Drac, I take it. Drac? That is a nice little piece of paradise the Angara have. Yeah. Wouldn't mind seeing it again. Yeah, I hope so too. I wouldn't mind either. Maybe we can have something like that too. Someday. We rescue that Moshi of theirs. Maybe they'll give us some tips. Mm-hmm. Oh, about Spender. I saw Spender earlier. He was talking to Kesha's assistant. That scrawny little assistant of hers, Dal. She sure doesn't like him either. So, wait, should help her? I've only seen him talk to her once, and I get it. Most people who meet him hate him. Huh. It's only a matter of time before he does something that'll put the Nexus in danger. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, the thing is, we can though, talk more later. people sure. being jerks aren't necessarily dangerous. A danger to society. <laughs> so, yeah. There's got to be something else behind that. Research or development? Special? Is this? Yeah, 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 there it is. So it's gonna be that easy? Awesome. I love it when things are easy. Alright. So that was it. So now I need to talk to Liam in his room. Liam, I signed off on that project. That's great, Pathfinder. Jala Maldara, we got our gear. Wait, what? Costa, Ryder. Ah, uh, seriously, guys? Is this an imitation? <laughs> no, seriously. I'm speechless, actually. Did I see? But cheeks. Is this show for my benefit? Because I'm benefiting. <laughs> Just convenience. Swapping armor. You ready to go? Go. Right. The pat's on your pauldron. Family honorific. Can I wear the poncho? It's a rofshin. And no. Why? Is it religious? Wait, what? It's personal. You're not allowed. Because of status or species? Maybe it's both. Do all humans look alike? Some of you sound alike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what are you, what's going on, guys? I know how this goes. Someone's getting offended and someone else punched. That's why we're doing it here? It's an armor swap for answers. 
Stop the diplomats, don't ask. I, uh, my turn was earlier. Nexus info packets leave a lot out. Yeah, well, he's naked. I am he sorry. He is naked. Uh, was this not sanctioned? Oh, you weaseling Adi. Nevertheless. He I was... Know. Seriously? <laughs> totally naked. Yeah. Benefits. Uh-huh. You better have a good reason for this. I do. And we were clear. The jaw was in from the start. Did I say put the shirt on? Oh, we were shit-talking. Except we couldn't. We didn't know enough about each other to dig in. If we don't know what's insulting or awful, we might accidentally trip on it. it makes talking dangerous. So now we know. And maybe that's enough for a couple of hotheads not to make a mess out there. Unless we want to. Good enough reason? Uh-huh. Yeah, well, I approve. Uh, sort of. For... Maybe not the reason you expect me to approve, but sure. Okay, I kind of get the intent. No harm, no foul. <laughs> if Jar was offended, I'd be on the floor. I'll take that kind of honest any day. We have a lot to learn. That's part of what our team is for. <laughs> Better now than when people's lives are on the line. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like... I was... They were betting. To see my reaction or something. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, that was very, very unexpected and fun. I won't lie. It was, it was fun. <laughs> two nice guys and uh, two nice bodies. One a bit more interesting than the other. Shop but hey. Overnighting any part I need. Battle bugs. So now we go uh, to some That's planet or another. Why? We can at least start the journey and then we'll see how far we can get. Eos. I think we'll go to Eos and check out the Asari refugees. See anything new around here though? But the air is crisp. Hello. Armed and armored. Good for you. I could have used that ordinance a few weeks ago. I'm Ryder, the human pathfinder. Lieutenant Harper, we're looking for the Asari Ark. So am I, watching the skies every day, praying they survived the cat. Yeah, uh, sounds like a lucky escape to me. At least you and these others made it out. Only just. Our clothes were still smoldering. What happened? The cat chased our Ark across the cluster. But these weren't their regular soldiers. They were hunters. Elite killers. So you've already encountered the regular soldiers, since you know the difference? None of the Arcs are armed. I don't like those odds. They kept shooting to slow us down. Peeled one deck like an orange. A bridge officer, Sarissa something, gave the evacuation order. Hundreds of people, all trying to flee. Sarissa. It was. Where could we look for the Ark? We lost track. But they launched a ship to help evacuees. And her crew would know. You'd have to find her. Follow the transponder, maybe. Yeah, yeah. We'll try and do that. Consider it done. Focus on taking care of yourselves. The ship's called the Parafona. I'll give you her transponder codes and last flight plan. Thank you. It's... Good to see the cat aren't the only ones winning. Yeah, I'm very anxious to find the arcs because we've heard nothing of them. So 
Oh, we need to go to Vault for that one as well. Well then, that answers that, I guess. We're going to Vault. What I don't get is, why couldn't we have called her up? Why do we have to physically go to Eos to talk to a person? Couldn't we have made a holocaust? Take her down, Callow. We designated this planet Habitat 6. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. But now... I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O in Habitat 6 folds the Angarai. It's ice. And those oceans... frozen over completely. Yeah. There goes the dream of a seaside property. That's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is bad. You're not exaggerating. I hate weather like this. Wow, oh, really? So how thick is this now? Mm -hmm. You sure? Want us to get out and push? Very funny, Ryder. Thanks, I try. Do my best. Oh. This is freaking cold. Um, where do we need to go? And we've got hazard level. Sylvie wasn't kidding about the cold. Can I not get the, um... Nomad? I guess not. Where are we supposed to go then? We gotta find something safe. Yeah, is this... Place is well hidden. No. Where are we meeting the resistance team? Sent you the nap point. Good luck, Pathfinder. Right. I'm just gonna follow the lights because it makes sense. And oh, look at that life support going down quickly. I'm not even gonna check the surroundings. There's gotta be people around there somewhere. Bunker. Heaters. Come on. I need to warm up for a bit. Yeah. Is, cutting through to the bone. is it a heater here? We're almost there. We'll need to talk to Commander Anya no. when we arrive. It isn't. Come on. Okay, yeah. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Really? M minus 52 degrees. That... So it helped this thingy? Did it? Not for long. Okay. Not for long. <laughs> yeah. Safe conditions. And yeah, actually, they are... Yeah, it's only minus thirty. That's colder than the normal freezers. Yeah, much colder actually. So, uh huh. Oh shit! I almost had didn't see that castle. So, uh, where are we going? This way. There's nothing there. But we're, we're fine. We're fine. This weather is... It's so cozy. Mm -hmm. I take it the Angara doesn't mind the cold. They don't look like they do. I mean, we're in sort of inside and it's still minus 30. So yeah. Good thing tech. Doesn't mind cold. Good to see you again, Commander Dalziel. And you, Jal. You must be Ryder. Jal told us what you did for Kirin's team on Haval. I'm Anyik Dalziel, commander of this encampment. You're welcome here as an ally of the Angara. Well, good to be here. 
I appreciate the warm welcome. It's a joke. To break the ice. Get it? Warm welcome? Ice? Rider? No. Probably a translation thing. Perhaps. <laughs> Strange jokes aside, I hope you will join our fight against the cat. We could certainly use the help. We've held the cat at bay, but have been unable to deal a decisive blow. The longer things drag on, the greater our disadvantage. Yeah, let's forget the awkward moments, okay? That's why I came here. To help. If you want to know where you can make a difference, go to the post that overlooks the valley. Nothing happens on Vold without our lookouts knowing about it. Before you go, is there anything else I can help you with? We'll talk later, okay? That's it for now. I'll be here if you have any questions. Yeah. I need to speak with the resistance lookout. An impressive surveillance system. You don't win a war without good organization. From this room, we keep track of our brothers and sisters in the field. Cool. Oh, what's that? What's that? We got console. Tech. All right, where's that lookout? Okay, this way. Extreme cold is detected, Pathfinder. Yeah, I should probably have had my helmet on. You know. <laughs> hey. But I brought this. Whoa! Didn't mean to sneak up on you. It's the alien. The one that helped out on Havaro. Didn't expect an alien to help. They've mostly tried to kill and enslave us. So that's amazing. You're amazing. Shut up, Beniska. You're embarrassing. <laughs> Shut up. I'm being charming, right? Yeah, yeah, it's great. You're great. <laughs> the Angara have been wonderful to us, including yourself. So thank you. See? We're building bonds here to seek. So, what's out there? Any tips? As a start, you could join our fight in Hajara, where those red lights are. I hear someone's looking for help. Or you could just go there and kill some cat. They're everywhere. Anything else you need to know? We've been stationed here forever, so we're experts. Right? Okay. Um... Any remnants? Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh... I think so. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, you'll tell me if I need to know something. So, where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. Okay, then that's where we're going. I'll let you get back to your work. Take care, stay safe. You'll be safe too, Jarl Amadarov. As your sister recovered from her mission, she was brave. So brave. She is. Both recovered and brave. Thank you for asking. Tell oh. us, we're going to need the Nomad. My position. Deploying forward station. I wish Good I knew what right. happened to your sister child. Automated protocols. And you activated. tell me another time. Deploying forward station. So at least we get the nomad, right? Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. Yeah, I don't I've care. About them mine. To your nav system. Seriously, don't care. Don't care. Let's get the nomad. Okay, Sam, what's Volt got for us? Cat activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all cat military efforts on Vold. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller cat installations. Mm -hmm. What about the Angara? The Resistance? What's their status? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hojara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, Fold's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. 
I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it? Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths, which suggests the presence of a vault. That means we might be able to melt this ice cube. Alright, we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. I should go. I should go. I should go. I should go.